Now, there's some speculation that the Egyptians were playing with bags of hot air. Uh, judging by some of the hieroglyphs that we've seen on some of the cave walls, that's uh, the idea that we've got. But we have to give credit to the French. It was two French brothers by the name of Montgolfier that came up with the idea of filling a bag with smoke. Now, the very first flight was performed by a rooster, a duck, and a sheep. Now, I know they weren't certified, but they were put in that position by these two brothers just to observe how that atmosphere would affect them. Well, the flight uh, was su somewhat successful. They landed in a farmer's field, and um, the farmer was so upset by the experience, uh, consider the mentality of somebody in the late 1700s, that he came out and attacked the balloon with pitchforks. Well, soon thereafter, a flight was performed with two male pilots, and uh, this was in a little town called Anone. Benjamin Franklin was there, along with John Adams and uh, Marie Antoinette and King Louis, to observe the first hot air balloon, which flew for about 20 minutes and attained a height of about 3,000 feet. Now, these two aeronauts uh, took a bottle of champagne with them so that they could appease the landowners when they, uh, when they finally found a place to land. Now, back then, champagne was quite the commodity, so when you handed a bottle of champagne to a farmer, he was quite delighted. Well, for that reason, we still use champagne to toast our balloon flights today, and uh, quite often we'll hand a bottle over to a landowner if that uh, needs to be the case.